What are the beginning stages of multiple myeloma? Early stages of multiple myeloma start to create plasma cell abnormalities that lead to bone and bone marrow issues, though patients may or may not experience symptoms. The cells live predominantly inside the bones in the space we call the bone marrow. And they can do a number of things that actually lead to the symptoms and to the clinical presentation. So, you know, as they just grow in the bone marrow, they take some of that real estate. Uh, so a person may experience fatigue and that is because they have anemia. Uh, the myeloma cells are also very characteristic because they, they uh, can erode into the structure of bones. So the structure of bones is another feature that we see in patients with myeloma. And that can be either seen on x-rays or sometimes people will present uh, with symptoms related to bone pain or discomfort with movement or weight bearing. Those are, those are you know, signs that we look for. So the primary reason I went in was for the pain to begin with. And my doctor did look at the pain. He tried to assess it several times over the course of two years, but it, but it wasn't until I had the MRI that showed a large plasma cytoma on my spine when I realized that something was wrong. A couple of other signs that I did have, looking back now, that I complained about to my doctor and that I thought were kind of, were rather curious, I did have some, um, I shrunk a little bit, I shrunk in height. So my daughters were laughing, they're like, mom, we're just growing, but I did shrink in height by about two and a half inches from the compression fractures in my spine and the plasma cytoma that had eaten away at my spine. And then another thing that, that a lot of people don't talk about is um, sometimes people will have foamy urine. We don't like to talk about body functions. It's important to know that if you experience that, there are proteins that can uh, that they can find in your urine. They're called Bench Jones proteins that are a sign of multiple myeloma. So if you notice anything unique like that, um, foamy urine, extreme fatigue, anemia, when your blood is uh, with your blood tests, it's definitely worth asking your doctor about. And also relentless, persistent pain in your hips in your back, in your ribs, any of those areas, worth talking to your doctor about just to assess those thoroughly to make sure there's not, not something more significant going on. If myeloma goes undiagnosed and untreated, the cancer cells can make a patient experience lower immune function due to white cells being crowded out, resulting in frequent infections, high levels of protein in the urine and blood, which may cause kidney damage, a buildup of cancer cells in the bones, which can cause bone weakening, bone pain, and bone fractures.